Neo is partnering up with Mercedes. What? What is up? It's Mr. P back with another extremely juicy video. Make sure you've hit the subs. We're trying to aim for 30K subs by the end of this year. Sub and hit the bell. So this photo is of Neo CEO Willem Lee right there and also Mercedes CEO Ola Kalinius right here in the red circle. And they're signing some sort of document and this picture was taken over a month ago. And I knew about this. I had it parked in the back of my head. I didn't really make much of it. But apparently right now there's rumors left and right, front and back, telling me that Mercedes is partnering up with Neo. And what is this whole thing about? What is the partnership all about? We're gonna talk about it all in this video. Make sure to like the video. Also guys, please sign up with Moomoo. You get 16 free stocks if you do. Open an account and deposit a little bit of money. Try to take advantage of that. It also helps out the channel. Anyways, moving on. Again, not financial advice. Could be just farting in the wind. But when you're smelling the same thing from all the directions, it might be more than just a fart in the wind. Use my EU app, invite code LEGPC7, and collect your daily login rewards. And soon you'll be able to get a free cup of coffee. First, we've got to analyze Mercedes their EVs. Their EVs have been a complete total failure, especially here in China. And if you look at the May sales numbers for luxury EVs over 300k RMB, this is the ranking and you can tell their cars are at number 10 and number 12 spot. EQA and EQB, just absolutely trash sales numbers. Not very good at all completely overtaken and destroyed and wrecked by BMW's own electric cars, the BMW i3 and iX3, which have much better sales numbers than Mercedes. And at the same time, also beaten by Neo. So it doesn't take an expert to see that there is a need for their strategy to be shifted and to make changes to improve their sales numbers for Mercedes. What's also really interesting is if you look at Mercedes' headquarters in Germany, right outside their headquarters is a battery swap station, a Neo battery swap station. So you can imagine all these new, uh, these Mercedes employees, whenever they're sipping their coffee and looking outside the window, they see a swap station. They see a Neo going getting a battery swap. The CEO sees Neo's battery swap station, it's probably hinting at something. And that is probably why they sat down and signed whatever it is that they signed. All right, you guys are thinking, Mr. P, tell us what this whole uh, rumor is all about. What is this partnership? Well, the partnership is, of course, that Mercedes is going to build electric vehicles that are capable of battery swapping using Neo's battery swap stations. And that is what the rumor is all about. Left and right, front and back, I'm hearing it all over the place. Just insane amount of volume on this rumor, all right? Again, still rumors, but you guys know when I talked about the rumor price cuts, price cut the next day. When I talk about this rumor, it might happen the next day. It might not happen the next day. Who knows? Again, it could be fart in the wind, but when you're sniffing it all over the place, probably is more than that. Also, what's really interesting is how the third gen Neo swap stations, oh, it's compatible with other batteries that can also do swapping, which is very, very interesting if you think about it. So we all know that the, that third gen swap stations is going to be used with Neo sub-brand, but this rumor also means that Mercedes is also going to be using third gen swap stations for their electric vehicles that can do battery swapping. And obviously, Mercedes is aiming to not only improve their sales numbers but also potentially to beat BMW in terms of EV sales and we've seen Neo do this kind of partnership before and it's very common I mean Neo partnered with Xpeng you know even though they're competitors they partner with Xpeng to share the charging network Ford right Ford that you guys all know about they did not build much uh charging stations here in China, they decided to partner with Neo to use Neo's charging stations here in China. 
and even Ford CEO said uh, Neo is a company that they really look up to. So it's not uncommon to see these kind of partnerships. But what's uncommon is for swap stations. And we're not seeing people uh, really cooperate on swap stations because it's more uh, tied down to the entire chassis. You got to have the same chassis that has a better swappable chassis and also uh, you got to have the standardized battery inside those swap stations. So, for example, my Neo can battery swap, but I go to a Rising Autos um, battery swap station, I wouldn't be able to swap there because the battery size is different. In it. So there's no form of standardization there. So what this also means is that if Mercedes partners up with Neo, it could either go two ways for this battery swap thing. It could be they make their own batteries, Mercedes builds their own batteries, battery swappable chassis. They just sign a co-op deal with Neo to use Neo swap stations. That would be very beneficial. Or two, they might license Neo's batteries to be able to do battery swap using Neo's batteries, which I'm not too sure if they'll do that. But those are two ways of going about it. But the second way obviously is going to lead to much more higher revenue than deal number one. Deal number one, of course, you still get a lot of revenue, and this does uh, validify battery swap as a good alternative, and, and I, I shouldn't say alternative, a supplementary way of replenishing your power other than charging. And I think the real attraction with battery swap stations is the fact not only that you can swap so fast, but also the fact that it's upgradable. Just yesterday, I was at the Neo service center. I was helping the Neo manager out, trying to sell a Neo to one of the customers. And I told them about how I would specify, spec the car. And I told them that I would not choose the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack because you could rent the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is impossible to do with any other EV brand out there. So that is also a point of, very interesting pro that Mercedes might actually want as well because they could lower their price down a lot and then also be able to swap into a high capacity battery and that would really help Mercedes's ecosystem as well and offer more options right offer more options for their customers and also another rumor, and this is this is rumor number two, and this is kind of tied down to this rumor as well, is how uh, Neil currently is building another factory in Portugal, and that is supposed to be even more technologically advanced than factory number two here in Hefei, which factory number two produces the ES6 and the ET5, and the one in Portugal is supposed to be even more advanced. And the rumor also hints at Mercedes possibly also utilizing that factory for vehicle production, which is very interesting to think about. And I don't think I think this might be stretching it a bit too far, but we'll have to wait and see. This is, in fact, just a rumor uh, could potentially turn out to be true. We don't know yet. What does this all mean for battery swap and NEO shareholders? Uh, we all know that recently NEO did that price cut and they took free battery swap and separated that from the price of the car. So the price of the car got cheaper and if you want free battery swap, you got to pay for it. And what's really interesting that I didn't talk about in my previous videos is that this is potentially coming to an end at the end of July this is going to be gone and this optional package is going to be gone so what's going to end up happening is all the NEOs are reduced down at in price by 30,000 and there's no free battery swap and you can't even pay the 30,000 uh, RMB extra for free battery swap for life so free battery swap is potentially going to go away forever but uh, the CEO didn't say for sure he didn't hammer it in but he hinted at it so that is what could be happening. And that just means that in the future, uh, new NEO purchases, existing NEO owners like me and uh, every other NEO you see on the road still gets free battery swap. But new NEO purchases, they would not get free battery swap. A lot of people 
argued that this is very bad, but I think this is also very good because if you want to swap, pay for it, you just charge. And also Neo makes swapping free on holidays anyways. So it's a good balance in my opinion. And then with the addition of Mercedes into the mix, those guys are also going to pay for battery swap. And one thing you got to note, note about the battery swap fee structure right now, it's very different from before. Before, if you run out of free swaps and you got to go for a swap, the payment structure is like this. There's a charge per kilowatt hour and then there's a service charge per kilowatt hour. That just means that if you swap for like a 70% charge battery to a 92% charge battery, the fee is relatively less. But however, there's still a fixed cost for actually doing the swap itself because it takes electricity to swap the battery, the swapping mechanism. So Neo has changed the fee structure down to a 30 RMB fixed cost service fee for the swap plus however many uh, kilowatt hours that you, uh, that you swapped in for. So the difference between the incoming battery and the outgoing battery, that is much more uh, reasonable and makes much more sense because it takes the fixed cost and incorporates that in. So that's very, very nice. And it also means, it just means that when you see Mercedes swapping potentially in the future at Neo swap stations, they're also going to be paying similar amounts of money to Neo also for the electricity fee and also service fee. And it's probably going to be a bit more expensive than uh, what Neos have to pay for. We've seen Neos do uh, a very, very uh, interesting move is, is that during holiday seasons, swapping is free, but charging uh, for Neos is regular price, but especially at those very popular charging spots, they jack up the price by like four or five X because, you know, people just have to go charge. You got no other option. So they, they can uh, jack up the price and people still have to charge. It's kind of evil, but uh, they got to make some money back. So we can expect something similar is that the pricing for battery swap for Mercedes is probably going to be a bit more expensive than Neos. So even if you want to choose between Mercedes' uh, battery swappable vehicle, EV, that uses battery swaps, uh, bat Neos battery swap stations, or Neos' own battery swappable EV, well, there might be also be a swapping fee difference between the two. So that's also something that the sales reps might also argue that, hey, those can also swap at Neo swap stations, but it's going to be more expensive for you overall. Go for Neo. So overall, it's a win-win in my opinion. Very nice, awesome to see this. And I it was so happy for me to share this with you guys. What do you guys think about this partnership? I mean, this is so insane that they actually signed something. We don't know what they signed yet, but left and right, people telling me this is what they signed. So... Yeah, we'll have to wait and see if this gets announced. If it gets announced tomorrow, maybe it's uh, validified. Maybe it gets announced a year later. They still want to sell some more uh, EQ series cars and try to like survive. But we'll see. We'll see. What do you guys think about all this? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.